What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight! Tonight! We have Destros. Yes, indeed. How about that? Destros making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all those clicks and those likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SMB, and this is actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of December for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So here you go, SMB. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, SMB want to see me react to this song by Destros called Headless Goddess. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a minute, hang on, I recognize this, I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay, um, this was posted by Heavy Metal Is The Law. However, under the video, it's, it clearly states that the video is unlisted. Now, I don't know exactly what that means. Maybe it's made private unless you have a direct link. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm not gonna post the link in the video description like I normally do. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm supposed to share the link or not, so. SMB, if you're watching this and you want me to put the link in there, please contact me, let me know, and I'll put the link in there. Otherwise, uh, I'll leave it unlisted. Uh, so it was posted by Heavy Metal Is The Law, and the video has 84 views. It's not gonna get you there, sorry. Now listen, I, look, I'm sure the song is fine, I'm sure the video is fine, I'm just saying 84 views, it, it, it's not gonna get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Destros, Headless Goddess. One man live at Shibuya O West. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Next song, Headrest Gothel. wondered why guitar players do that why bass players do that if you're gonna put your face in front of a mic 
you know, it, it's time to do backing vocals, right? I see three ladies getting on mics, but I only hear one of them. <laughs> the other, I hear the bass player. All I and the other two guitar players standing there in front of the mic, and they're they, it looks like they're about to sing, and they open their mouths and they go, <gasps> and they just smile. I never understood. That. <laughs> What is it about guitar players being afraid to sing backing vocals? I'll never understand that. I've been in so many bands where that's happened. And I get up on the backing vocals and I'll, I'll do my part. I'm like, why do I sound so thin? And I'm like, I, why, why do I sound like I, I, why do I feel like I'm singing by myself? And it turns out I am. And that, that's why it sounds like that. Um, okay. I don't know if this is true or not. I, 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 I can't say for certain, but uh, I'm sure there are Destros fans out there who are going to let me know if I'm correct in my assumption or not. I can't help but notice the drummer with these star-shaped symbols. Now, I only know one drummer who has star-shaped symbols. I know of only one drummer, and that would be... Uh, Haruna from uh, Love Bites. And the hair is a little different, but the face kind of looks like Haruna. Is that Haruna? Is that like a younger Haruna? Could be. I don't know. Look, it. These are a dead giveaway. I'm sorry, but I, unless, unless maybe, maybe Haruna stole this idea from this drummer. That's an idea. Maybe she did. That's okay. Look, we're all thieves. We're all thieves. We all steal from each other. It's no big deal. I'm just wondering if, you know, like, like I said, Haruna's the only drummer I've ever seen that uses star-shaped symbols. I've seen symbols in cut into squares. I've seen, I've seen symbols cut into triangles. I've, I've seen symbols cut into some weird shapes. Uh, half moons. Uh, but Haruna is the only one I know of that uses star-shaped symbols. So I don't know. Is that Haruna? It very well could be. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it is. Anyway, uh, let's keep going here. <laughs> vocalist is doing a really good job. I like her diversity. Starting out with that grit and growl style voice, but with some definite harmonics in there, some definite melodic tones in there. Um, she's been singing strong ever since. I, I dig her style. I really do. Uh, the two guitar players, if I'm being honest, the the one on stage right playing the, uh, the ESP with the Les Paul body, the Les Paul knockoff, uh, I think she's a cleaner guitar player than the one on stage left playing the red uh, guitar. I I was not impressed with that first half of that solo uh, with the red guitar player playing by herself. A lot of muted notes that were not supposed to be muted, but her fingers were overlapping each other. And as a result, you know, she's playing this note right uh, with her with her index. And I guess her middle finger would be right above the string, just enough to stop the vibration of the string and mute it. You heard a lot of what we call dead notes, uh, deadened notes. 
Uh, we just call them dead notes. I mean, it'll be, the technical term is actually dead end, but we just call them dead notes. Uh, heard a lot of those. And in places where she was supposed to be sustaining and getting vibrato, and it, it just died. So not very clean playing from her part. But once the other guitar player came in uh, from stage right with that ESP Les Paul, Les Paul knockoff body, uh, it got a lot better. I mean, she came in and she was really delivering a great, uh, great solo based on the harmonic lines, uh, the melodic lines that the guitar with the red playing guitar uh, girl was was doing. So uh, I'm more impressed with the guitar player on stage right, if I'm being honest. Now, this bass player. <laughs> I've been watching her play. I've been watching her stage presence. I've been watching how she headbangs, and she seems to do the, the bass leading headbang where the bass comes down, pulling the shoulder down, pulling the head down, that, that type of emotion. I do that a lot too. I couldn't help but notice it, and that's very much in the style of how, uh, well, she's not, she's not in Love Bites anymore, but uh, the bass where it used to be in Love Bites, Miho. That's what she does. And I also couldn't help but notice the body of the bass and the color of the bass, very similar in styles. It's missing the, it's missing the, the uh, stick-ons that Mia has, but this, this could be earlier. This could be before she added those things. And I, I saw these things and I'm like, eh, maybe, possibly it could be. But then I saw her walk over and spin one of those star-shaped symbols. I've seen Miho do that too in Love Bites. I mean, look, this is there's a possibility that this is Haruna. Is there an equal possibility that this bassist is Miho? Hair color is a little different. Hairstyle is a little different. That's kind of throwing me off. But uh, it could be. Look, look. <laughs> People change from band to band, you know, people join bands, people leave bands. It's, it's possible. It's very possible that she, that is Miho and that is Haruna. Wouldn't that be something? Maybe this was the first band they were in together. God, wouldn't that be something? To all the non-believers. Anything's possible in this world. I, I'm not 100% certain, but I have a feeling that's Miho and I have a feeling that's Haruna. Anyway, let's keep going here. I swear that me
yeah, I mean, it's... Mm, it's good. It, it, it's good. I... I uh, uh, mm, I have some thoughts. I... For the most part, I liked it. There was a couple of things I wasn't too thrilled with, but for the most part, for the most part, it was really good. Um, let me think about it. I'll see you in the review, and we'll we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Destros with Headless Goddess. This was a request from SMB, and this was actually SMB's prioritized request for the month of December for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So. There you go, SMB. I hope you enjoyed the show, man. Okay, I have a score, and the score makes sense to me. It makes perfect sense to me. Uh, and I'm sure if you guys stick around and listen to the, my reasonings for giving the score, I'm sure it'll make sense to you as well. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.5. Yep, 7.5. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, the song on its own, it, it, it's a really good song, okay? It, it's a really good song. I, I would not go as far as to say it was impressive, but it was a really good song. Very well constructed, very well organized, very well arranged. It all made sense uh, from a chordal structure standpoint, from a chordal flow standpoint, uh, everything flowed just fine. Melodic lines all made sense over the chordal flow. Everything sounded correct. Okay, nothing at any given time made me go ah when it came when it came to the songwriting. Okay, so the songwriting, the song was written just fine. I got no issue with, with it whatsoever. Instrumentation. Okay, let's start. Where should we start? Let's start with the drumming. Um, really nice drumming. Very solid drumming. Not the most impressive drumming I've ever seen ever, but I mean it's it was very solid. Very very solid. Um, double kick sounded good. It was it wasn't used throughout the song as much as I've heard other you know bands do, but it was when it was done, it was it was really solid. Everything about the drumming was solid. Like I said, nothing that really kind of blew my mind or made me go wow or anything like that. No, but I mean it, the the drumming was solid. I mean I, I had no complaints at the end of the day about the drumming whatsoever. Um, the bass playing locked in with the drummer sounded really good. Great sixteenth note patterns. Um. Everything sounded tight. Everything sounded right on point. Uh, the subdivisions were just fine. I got no issue with anything the bass player had done. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to ask this flat out. <clears throat> was that Miho and was that Haruna on the bass and drums? I, I, I <sighs> Everything screams at me that it was. Now, the hairstyles are different, and I think, I think that's what might be throwing me off is the hair doesn't look the same. And, may, and it, 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 maybe that's why I'm just not, I'm looking at the faces going, it, it, it kind of looks like them, but not exactly. And it, it, like I said, it could be something as stupid as the hair, but it, 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 it still is messing me up. So is it or is it not Haruna and Miho? Let me know in the comments. I, I, I have a feeling it is, and I, I don't know if I'd be willing to bet money on it, but I, I feel pretty confident saying that, but not so confident that I'd be willing to put cash down. You know what I mean? But I do feel pretty confident about that. The two guitar players. Okay, guitar playing for the most part, for like 90% of the song, sounded really good. It sounded really tight, well done, well established, uh, up at the front of the mix like it should be. Uh, great guitar tone, very clean playing uh, for the most part. Now. I said this during the course of the reaction, uh, the guitar solo. The guitar player over on stage left with the red guitar. I wasn't terribly impressed with her, if I'm being honest. Uh, her playing on that solo was a little janky, a little sloppy, uh, a lot of muting that should not have happened, uh, but it, it did happen. Now, luckily, about halfway through, here comes the guitar player from stage right with that Les Paul knockoff from ESP, and she joined in now once she joined in and she started doing the harmonics to what was happening with the melodics in uh the guitar solo it filled it out and i think her mon her the uh the guitar player stage right i think her harmonics were covering up a lot of the dead notes that were happening in the uh 
guitar player stage left. I think she was kind of covering it up a little bit. I believe that the guitar player on stage right is the more talented guitar player. So why is the other guitar player on stage left doing the solo when it really, in my honest opinion, it should be the guitar player on stage right. Um, but that's not that's not my call, that's their call. But if, if I was, if it was my call, I would put her on stage right, I would put her in charge of guitar solos, I would, because she sounds like a more proficient player, a cleaner player, a more talented player. Vocals, very clean, uh, right on point, everything sounded good, great tone, uh, great projection, great power, great delivery, everything I look for in a great vocalist. Her vibrato at times, and I'm not just talking about one time, there were a couple of times, but I think there was about three times during the course of that song, her vibrato was a little overdone, if I'm being honest. It, it got a little out of control. Um, very easy to do when you're doing vibrato, especially if you're doing a wide sweeping vibrato, like she was doing. Um, if you're not careful, it goes too wide and it, almost changes pitch and you you got to be careful about that um i wonder where she was doing her vibrato from it sounded to me like she was doing her vibrato from her throat which is not where you want to do vibrato vibrato should be done from the diaphragm not the throat and it sounded to me like she was doing it from the throat and as a result it sounded a little pinched it sounded a little tight so i don't know if i was thrilled with the vocals but she did a bang up job from a tonal standpoint from a pitch standpoint uh from an accuracy standpoint from a power and projection and, su and support standpoint she did a bang up job so really good overall from her part listen it's a really good score 7.5 it's literally right in the middle of the really good scale from 7.0 to 7.9. It's literally right in the middle. So, and I, I believe that is accurate. That's how I that's how I view it. Now I'm sure other people are gonna have their differences of opinion. They're certainly welcome and entitled to it. However, this is my show and I give my opinion. So I believe the score of 7.5 is very fitting. Um, like I said, it's a really good song. It's a solid song, okay? It definitely stands up and it holds up. I, I don't know how old this, this video is, it doesn't look like it was recent. It doesn't look like it was done within like the last two or three years. I mean, it could be four or five years old. It could be, you know, 10 to 12 years old. I don't know, but I mean, it it doesn't look recent, but it definitely holds up to a lot of the stuff that I've been hearing recently on the channel. So I got no issue with it. I think it's a really good song. 7.5 feels good and a 7.5 is where we're gonna stay. So 7.5 final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.